I, um, we like to make it interesting. <laughs> no question about that. I, uh, you know, we got it was so easy for us early. We were hitting shots. We were executing. We, we were defending at a, a level we haven't defended at this year. And just came so easy for us. And uh, then I rode guys too long. Didn't sell very well in the first half. But uh, uh, we did what young teams do. It's easy. We just think it's going to be easy the whole game. And uh, so we quit guarding. We quit chasing down loose balls. We started shooting quick. We got a little bit selfish. Turned the ball over. You know, cut to 16 and a half. We said 15. We said, all right, first four minutes this is the game. And I was not going to call timeout in the first four minutes. And that was more of just trying to help grow up. And I said, even if it costs us the game, I kept telling our coach, I'm not calling timeout. They got to get themselves out of it. So what we did is we did what not very good teams do. We couldn't figure out how to get out of a rut. And you know, what good teams do is they get to the foul line and throw it inside. They, they take good shots. They get stops. They get out on the break. And we couldn't get out of the rut. We just couldn't get out of it. And you can preach it and say it over and over. And uh, couldn't get out of it. And, uh, we got to figure it out. We didn't realize it on the road. No, no. Get into the ACC, so hopefully we can figure out better ways to get to the foul line, get easy buckets uh, when we're not doing what we're supposed to do. But that said, I know I'm talking a lot. Game was on the line. We did it again. We stepped up, we guarded, we executed, made plays, drawing two of them, made foul shots down the stretch. We got just enough stops. To <coughs> <coughs> Mark, was that the first time this year that you were taking that approach of I'm going to let them play out of it no matter what? And no. Is there any, you know, are you sitting over there thinking maybe I do this now, maybe I call time out? Yeah, I, 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 I um, stubborn, but you know, when you got a young team, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, even though I wasn't calling the time out, I never thought we were going to lose the game. Um, I just, I want our guys to grow up. and. Um, you know, right or wrong, that's what I did. And uh, we called plays to post it. We couldn't get in hours a couple of times. We couldn't make a pass, couldn't make a play. We just got to get better. We got to execute better. We got to practice better. And um, we're, you know, maybe we're a little caught up in, in, in the seven game winning streak instead of where our team really is and where we need to, to be. So the good thing is we've got a few days to practice before we hit the road. Mark, do you think your team still suffers from an issue where we Terrell Stoglin is on the bench as he was with foul trouble tonight, that, that you guys still seem to, to look a little lost occasionally because they, they sometimes stand around and watch Terrell? Uh, I, 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 I disagree with that. I did, when Terrell came back in, he took bad shots. And he forced one in the first half, he had Pichon wide open. But no, I, I, I was, and if I'm angry about anything, it's how we play when he was out because our guys had a chance to step up without him. Now, we did it the game before, whenever we played, he was out with four fouls. And they didn't do it tonight. And, uh, uh, but, and I know with fouls, he's not going to guard anybody. He gave up five points when he had four fouls. But um, that, that, that was a disappointing thing to me. I, but you do it by committee. There was a lot of guys that didn't play well tonight. There was a lot of guys that didn't take good shots. There was a lot of guys that didn't execute uh, very well when we had to execute. So I don't know if it's just because Terrell was on the bench. Or I don't think you know we stand around and watch him. Because I do think you know our system have gone up since you know Pichon's come back. It's just our turnovers have gone up too. So uh, the two things that we don't do a very good job of is we don't take care of the ball and we shoot quick shots. And if we can take those two things away, then we got a chance to be a good team. But otherwise, we're not going to be any good. And we can keep talking about it uh, until we're blue in the face. But we just got a little bit too many no look passes, and uh, uh, and our shot selection's not good. I, you know. We kept jacking up threes when we couldn't make any. And uh, that's going to be the difference. we got to grow up from that. But we're, we're young. we got a young team. We've got an experienced team. So. Um, I don't really understand the dynamic you just explained about what happens with the young team. But that said, did Cornell do something appreciably different on defense in that second half, that first 11 minutes when you guys couldn't get a field goal? Was it well, really radically different? No, what happened was we were shooting layups 
because they were turning the ball over and we were guarding. They were shooting long shots, long rebounds. So we were shooting laps and then we were in zone and we were making wide open threes. And then they switched to man and we didn't execute after that. We got selfish. So you can give them credit. And then they show, you know, and, and he's a gun gunslinger by the way he coaches. They start they went small, let it fly, and they shot thirty three. I thought we did a great job guarding the three point shot all night. And um, now I, I think it was a combination of they played a lot loose. It's a lot easier to play when you're down 20. Um, it's easy to come back, but it's hard to come back and win. And um, uh, and we just didn't do our job. You know, we showed our inexperience, our immaturity, and I just keep hoping that we go out of it. Chris, did they do anything in particular to make it difficult to get it into your front court players like, like James and Alex? Well, I thought I thought the, the the local guy, 55. I don't even want to try to say his last name. Uh, did a great job post defense. You know, we didn't do a good job posting up, and uh, took your first option away. We couldn't get to the second option. So, uh, and then you know, second half when it was raining, you know, I mean, rains and pours, we would drive and they just put everybody in the paint because we couldn't make a jump shot. And then our passing and catching wasn't good. So, I don't know. I, I have to watch the film. I just, I think it's more execution than anything else. More to more done than Patrick. Mark, you're sitting here going to the ACC 10 and 3. Uh, do, do you look at that from a coaching standpoint, saying we're not a 10 and 3 team in the sense that we don't, we're not as good as our record indicates? Or do you sit, look and say, we've won a lot of close games. The guys have showed me something in, in those games, but we have a lot, you know, a long way to go. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what I think. Um, <laughs> I just know where we are. Uh, I know where we need to get to. Uh, you guys can write what you want about, you know, the way you tend to. I am very proud of how we've won games, especially when we didn't have Alex and Pichon, because you can tell they've been a, a big boost for us. Um, We figured out how to execute and win close games. It's going to help us when we get into those games. My concern is our inexperience, our lack of just commitment to doing it right every time. That's my biggest concern. And um, they look at me like I'm absolutely crazy every day in practice about doing it right every time. And I was hoping we could learn that from winning. We might just have to get our tail kicked before they figure that out. I hope I'm wrong. Hopefully they'll figure it out Thursday in practice. We'll go to North Carolina State and put our tail off. But uh, we'll see. Every team's different. This is a very inexperienced young team that puts their heads down pretty quick. So uh, we got a lot of work to do. I was going to ask something similar, but how big a step is you know, entering conference play if you don't as much? Oh, I, I don't know. You guys watch it on TV. It's another level of intensity. I'm sure our crowds will hopefully will go up. And uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's a step. It's a step. We got a we got a hard ACC schedule. You look at it. We got a hard one. So um, I, I just want to get better. I, that's all I want to do. I want to get better. I was frustrated. Um, frustrated. My guys tonight. We had potential three point plays. We make weak plays. And we miss a free throw. I want our guys to. I want our guys to have a winning attitude. I want our guys to have an attitude like they belong. An attitude, and if they do that, and we keep coaching them, you know, they'll take care of itself. And I just told them, like, we're still the team that was the highest pick I saw was ninth. I saw 11th. I saw 12th. I saw 10. So we're still that team, and we got a chance to prove guys wrong. We'll see if we're good enough to. We're capable of doing it. Thank you.